Speed reading is something that helped me to read more books than I ever imagined. Hey guys, welcome back to the another episode. If you are new here, my name is Ronak, a YouTuber, book blogger, podcaster and freelancer. On this channel, we talk about book recommendation, productivity hack and some freelancing work and how to make money online. So if you love any of this topic, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Today, we are going to talk about what is speed reading, how you can increase your reading speed and some pro tips in this video. So make sure you like this video and share it with your all book lover friends. Most of the videos available on the internet, they talk about sub vocalization and the pointer method. But there are so many great ways apart from these two like sub vocalization and pointer method available if you try to do it. If I want to talk about a book, then usually a book consists of like 20% major content and 80% is either character development, scene development or examples, examples, examples and examples. And that's the reason I believe that speed reading is important because it's not that every book is my cup of tea. There are some books I just talk about like I just read 20% which gives me the 80% of the content. So that's what I think that speed reading is really important. Before we get started, here is a description or I will say a quote when you read a book very slowly that's a life-changing book for me today whatever I'm going to say it's all I learned from the books podcast you know different videos and different techniques today I'm just going to summarize all the techniques or what worked for me in the speed reading there are majorly three types of reading available first one is mental reading second word is auditory reading and third one is visual reading the first one is mental reading like when you sound each and every word in your brain or each and every word in your mind that's called the mental reading this is the very slowest kind of reading and usually like you are seeing this on screen so this is kind of a mental reading where you sound each and every word in your brain and usually most of the blog most of the people use this kind of reading second form of reading is auditory reading when you listen to an audiobook auditory reading is as twice fast as mental reading it is usually around 400 to 450 words per minute and i really love audiobooks most of the people don't prefer audiobooks where because they think that you cannot concentrate on the audiobooks but i do believe that it's really easy if you are really interested in the book then you get you get go with the flow and i usually i already made a video that how audiobooks changed my life you can check that video here and here and if you want to don't miss the audiobooks then there is a link in the description you will get 90 days free trial on the audio file don't forget to check the link in the description third and last type of the reading is visual reading when you don't sound your word like when you don't sound any word in your brain or when you don't sound any word in your mind that's called a visual reading it's a very fast kind of reading and most of the videos available on the internet it's all about the visual reading most of the people call this as a sub vocalization like you don't sound any word in your brain you just like try to scan everything just as fast as you can so that's called a sub vocalization or visual reading there is another type in the visual reading you can do is RSVP which is like you see only one word on the screen that's what called is visual reading now let's talk about why speed reading is important because i believe that a, any book is consist of the 80 percent of the example and it's really there are so many books available on the world in the world and i wanted to read most of them i wanted to read each and every book but it's not possible if i don't apply the speed reading so that's the only reason i believe that speed reading is really important now let's talk about some pro tips that you can apply so you can start with the speed reading first secret is reading in chunk well the human eye ha has a called foeva which is the where the vision is very very clear so what you do is when you when you are reading a book usually if you concentrate what we do is visually we, co we concentrate on one single word and rather rather than concentrate on one single word you can concentrate on a three to four lines at the similar time like if you concentrate on the three lines at the similar time then that will be vision very very clear so that's the one thing rather than reading one word try to concentrate on the three to four sentence at the same time so that will help you to get more clear vision a way more clear when you are reading the second method is head momentum well this is a kind of a controversial whether uh, they, most of the people won't agree with this and most most of the research also shows that this is kind of a controversial topic what head momentum says is when you are reading if you move from left to right then there are chances that you will increase your reading speed well i have tried this but rather than head momentum eye momentum works best for me but you can try the head momentum most of the time your head is on the same head is 
step stable and your eyes momentum is fast but rather than you can try doing the head momentum like from the left to the right you can do this and you can start trading the boot but this is i am not much into the head momentum but you can try if this work for you well and good but the next move method which is eye momentum will definitely help you third method is or the third secret is eye momentum this is something i read in the four hour work week which helped me a lot in the speed reading what happens is when you are reading on a screen and what your eye momentum is you are on the first word so when you when you try to concentrate on the third first word then usually the this part like if you are concentrated on the first word the your eye vision like if you say your eye vision is this much and here is the first word then this much eye vision will be not uh, not reading anything i mean there will be no word in this vision so rather than reading at the start start reading at the moment you you have to restrict your eye momentum as slow as possible or as steady as possible rather than reading at the starting or rather than keeping the eye momentum at the starting or rather than keeping eye momentum at the ending try to keep your eye momentum as middle as possible so by this you can cover this much area so if you like if you are doing a normal reading then you will your eye momentum will look like this at the first first sentence then the chunk second sentence then the third last and last word rather than doing this try to keep your eyes in the middle as possible so you can restrict your eye momentum and you can read faster the next method is read with pointers i know i use this method when i am reading the paperback book usually what happens in paperback book is the book is called 80% 80% is all about the example and still i feel that i should not miss anything i should not miss an important example and that can i cover a story and send it to the newsletter every sunday i send newsletter so if you are not not part of the vip family you can join the newsletter there is a link in the description or you can check the pin comment so what is a pen moment or usually it is available applicable only when you are reading the paperback when you read the digital books then you cannot just use the pointer but when you are reading the paperback you can use the pointer the reason is your eye follows the path if you have played the snake game in the childhood then you you are concentrated on that snake continuously like like the eye my my finger is moving and you can concentrate on that finger like where is finger is going just the way your eyes tries to follow the path so if you see if you try to follow the path see the the main reason behind this is your eye momentum should be very very smooth if you don't have a smooth momentum then you cannot read fast so when you uh, when you just without the finger when you read then do, when the, your eye momentum is like left right left middle right so it goes into the blocks like this block this block this block now when you do with the finger like when you try to concentrate on the finger then the eye momentum is very smoothly this is something even i learned from the four hour work week and the ali abdul's video which you can definitely try and pointer methods definitely works if you are reading the paperback book rather than a digital copy the next and the last step is subocalization everyone knows about the subocalization what is subocalization you don't have to sound any word in your mind you just have to scan the words with your eyes that's what is subocalization it takes time to get used to the subocalization and it's not everyone can do that but if you practice this is you can definitely do it but do yes say both sub vocalization increases your speed but rather than you can try different step also so that's up to you now here are some pro tips for the speed reading which i think kind of a controversial topic some may use it or some may may be against it first one is try to read only the first sentence usually first sentence is try to convey the message and you can get the idea what is author saying in the first sentence but in if you go into literature like in the specific literature book then you may miss the important words also second method is uh, skip the last sentence usually the last sentence is the wrap up sentence and you do you don't have to really you don't have to read the really last sentence so you can skip that sentence the next method is read in phrases well when you skip the first and last sentence there is most of the phrases away phrases available in the paragraph you just have to quickly go through the phrases and your mind will start filling the words automatically when you get used to it the next pro tip you can use is ignore the little words like a and the b these are the little words you don't have to really focus on you just can you just have to ignore it and you just have to let it go the next pro tip is look for key points 
as I already said, the book is a book all about the 20% of the major content that gives 80% of the input. Like in the atomic habit, the habit is really important word. And whenever the habit comes, that is a key point or that is a main keyword you have to focus on rather than focusing on all of the other stuff. So if you can just find out the what keywords you want to learn or what are the keywords are the most important and then try to focus on those, those keywords while reading the book and whenever the important parts can even uh, if i love book and if i already said you yeah, when, whenever you read the slow that is a life-changing book for you there are so many life-changing book for me so it's not like that i do each and every word every book in the speed reading but i do slow reading whenever the important topics come or whenever the topic is something that i want to learn from it that's all about the speed reading i have tried to cover every possible aspect of the speed reading now you have all the points now you can use whatever you want if i want to summarize this first one is reading in chunks try to reading three to four lines in the eye momentum second is try to restrict your head momentum i mean left to right left to right you just try to restrict that third one is eye momentum if you do if you do not agree with the head momentum you just have to keep your eye momentum in the middle and then start reading next one is use the pointer if you are reading the paperbacks book then try to use the pointer as early as possible so you can get just a fast to it that is called the scanning method next one is subocalization which you already know that why subocalization important and obviously everyone can't do that if you are not a fan of subocalization then try to go with the audiobooks that will definitely change your life just the way audiobooks changed my life in the lockdown that can change your life too try to read try to skip the first and last sentence or, be, or try to skip the last sentence and try to read the first sentence usually you will get idea about it try to read in the phrases then try to skip the all the may, uh, little words like a and the so this is all about the summarization of the speed reading i hope you will start implement these techniques and let me know what do you think about all these techniques or any new technique if you know in the speed reading and let me know in the comments and that's all for the today's video if you are more interested in the non-fiction books i read then do check this video that 10 non-fiction books i read in 2020 that will help you to understand what are the best books i read and the second video how to get audiobooks for free this will help you to understand how you can get audiobooks for free and that's all for the today's video see you in the next one